Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm High Lord Tamerlane, and this is Zane and Oron. Which is which, I'm not sure. Actually, I do know. That's gotta be Oron, that's gotta be Zane. Why? Because I know that Zane's all about the hand-to-hand, -hand, and he's the dude on the ground. The big ol' hunk of pistol, whereas Oron, I'm assuming, is the guy with the giant cannon. These are part of Wild West Exodus's Holy Order, and these are the... Oh gosh, what are they called? I can't even remember the name now. Clody? No. They have a special name within the ranks of the faction. Oh man, they don't have cards either. It's a shame. Gotta download them, I guess. So, first things first, if you're not aware, Wild West Exodus is a little bit larger scale model. They're closer to 32 or 35 millimeter, depending upon the character. So just for example, you can see here this model is a lot closer to Stormcast proportions than it is to human ones. Funny enough, this is not the original Zane. We had Mimrig Zane back in the original release, but he's obviously bulked up since then. Um, these are new powered armor suits since in the storyline that's been ongoing for Wild West Exodus. Bad things are happening and aliens are involved and the whole end of the world apocalyptic stuff is going on, so they have these old school powered suits. That they are busting out to fight the bad dudes. So, nice quality casts. A little bit of flash. Nothing too bad to clean up. I'm assuming this is one model and this is another. But we also have quite a few extra bits in the bag here. That is one big cannon. How big is that cannon? It's almost the size of a man. And it's quite elaborately decorated, which is kind of cool. And you also have a dead invader body for Zane to stand over with his blade. It's a little bit flashy, but we'll get them all cleaned up. They both come with extra giant Wild West Exodus bases, in case you guys haven't seen these. I want to say they're 40 mil. No, they're probably closer to 50 millimeter. But they're a lot taller than the average base. Yeah, that's 50, I believe close to it. And this is a privateer base. But you can see here, if you're not familiar with Wild West Exodus bases, they're a little bit more like a plinth almost. They're quite a bit larger. So there are a few parts here that we're going to have to cut out. So we're going to get these guys built up. We'll see what they look like. And I'm going to try to double check what the official name of these Holy Order guys are in the big combat powered armor suits. So I know what I'm talking about. And I'll grab a couple others so we can see what they look like compared to the rest of the range. One moment, please. Here we have the finished Zane and Oron, and you can see they are quite big models. They're on the medium-sized bases for Wild West Exodus, which are somewhere in between a 40 and 50 millimeter base. Here's a 40 millimeter. So they have like a 40 millimeter diameter on top, but it's closer to 50 on the bottom. They have that weird kind of bi-level plinth going on. So just so you're aware, here is our friend Oron, who I am pretty sure was already released earlier in the original Outlaw Miniatures version. Very interesting looking Gatling minigun thing going on there. Very ornate, elaborate armor. And a big gun, obviously. And then Zane here is also another original model. And that's one that I actually have. Here is the original Mimreg Zane from Wild West Exodus when he was part of the, just the Holy Order. Again, very elaborate armor, big weapons, and now that's no different. He's got a big honking blade, big pistol, weird looking helmet, but that seems to be the case for all of the members of the order in their heavy armor. And again, he's one of the few that has a little extra add-on for his base. He's got a dead invader body there. You can see the remnants of his face. I don't think this is actually supposed to be cleared up below his legs there. It looks like it's just supposed to be debris that he is laying on. So, in case you are not familiar, Wild West Exodus models are quite large. So using our human witch hunter friend there as a size indicator, you can see just Oron already is quite large. The base certainly isn't helping because even with his hat, he barely goes up to his chest. Zane here crouching down is almost as tall as him standing up. So yeah, they're big models. The bases really don't help. Quite cool, interesting poses, and 
The only downside is there's no cards included if you actually want to use them in a game of Wild West Exodus. That seems to be the case for all of the expansion boxes like this outside of the big posse starter boxes. Those seem to have all the cards you need. These don't. So I guess I'm going to have to go online to get those rules and look at how to actually use them correctly. Otherwise, quite cool. I'm quite happy with them, and hopefully I can figure out a decent color scheme that doesn't end up making them look exactly like Stormcast Eternals. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and we will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.